And how are you today? Fine! You're running around with your soccer ball. Hold on to it for a second so I can tell the friends at home what we're going to do. We're going to start by playing soccer. So you might want to ask the grown up at your house what you can use to play soccer with us. And we're going to sing the nonsense song. Doobie's going to come a little later. Doobie's going to come a little later. We're going to play with our foot shapes. We're going to sing Keeping the Beat. We're going to play with our exercise balls and play Do You See Game and the String Game and the Counting Song. We're going to have great fun today. The counts. We can count on our fingers. No, we're not going to do the alphabet song today. We'll do that another day. How's that, Jarrett? No, the exercise balls? That's close enough, isn't it? Do you think that's close enough? You want to use these? Now, when you play soccer, do you use your hands? No. What do you use? Feet. You use your feet. Sure you do. Do you think that you I could try kicking a little bit at your house? Make sure you ask a grown-up where you can play this. All right, Jarrett, let me see. Now, what you... Good, Jarrett. You know what you might want to try to do? Good, Deborah. That's very good, Deb. That's right. If it's coming towards you and you want to stop it, you just put your foot on it a little bit and roll it back towards you. Do you know how to dribble with a soccer ball? Yeah. How do you dribble, Aaron? Now, that's a basketball dribble. How do you dribble in soccer? What do you think you might use? Feet. You'd have to use a soccer ball. What part of your body would you use? Feet. Hmm? Your feet. What, what? what? Your feet, right. And all you have to do is kick it a little bit. You kick it a little bit ahead of you, and then you follow it and kick it a little more, and that's called dribbling. Try it. Try it at your house. See, you just take it and you kick it a little bit. Kick. Well, you don't have to. I'm talking to the friends at home at their houses. The friends at home can try it, but you're right here with a soccer ball in your hand. Try it here. No, it's not on your head. That's not a real soccer ball. That's a soft ball so that we don't hurt anyone. You want to switch? Okay, Deb, if you'd like to switch, you can switch. You want to switch? All right, take mine. Oh, everybody wants mine. What's the attraction with mine? All right, here. Switch. Switch. All right, everybody switch. Now try it. Use your feet. Ah! I lost mine. There it comes. Reach out and stop it with your foot if you'd like to. Just kick it a little bit. Sure. That's right. That's how you stop it. But you don't have to step on it too far. There you go, Simeon. and I stopped it for you. Try to use your feet just to kick it a little bit, kick it ahead of you, and reach out and stop it. Pull it back towards you. And then if you want to practice pra passing, kick it with the side of your foot. I passed it right to Aaron. Passed it right to you. Pass it back to me, Simeon, but try it with your foot. Kick it with your foot and pass it back to me. Good stop, Simeon. Now kick, kick it with your foot. With your foot. The side of your foot. That's it. That's it. Now, when you kick a soccer ball, don't use your toe. You don't want to use your toe. What you use is the like side of your foot. Yes, Jared? I like Doobie. I like Doobie, too. And Doobie will be here soon, I promise. Doobie will. That's right. That is Smokey the Bear, Jared. That's true. Let me see you try it. Jared, let me try you to see you use your soccer ball. Put it on the ground and kick it a little for me, please. That's it. That's it. Now, everybody, I've got an idea. Let's pretend that that's the goal over there. And on the count of three, everybody kick your soccer ball over there. You ready? One, two, three! That's it! Now, come over here with me. Come over here with me, because our friend Gary's going to... See? That's it. Now, do you know who else is here? Because we're going to put those away in a minute, because I know that you should always put your things away. What number? I think it goes in number... One. They go on one, number one. 
Nine. No, there's no bin in number nine. Come here, I want to show you who's here. Come here. Come Quick, look. Simon has found a rainbow. He hasn't found a rainbow. Simon has drawn a rainbow. Do you want to watch Simon's rainbow? Look up there. What do you see? Simon was walking in the park one day when he met his chalk drawing friend, Henry. Simon, you've got to come and settle an argument in the land of chalk drawings. Simon agreed to go. As they approached the land of chalk drawings, Simon heard a tremendous noise. He was amazed when he discovered who was making the noise. It was the sun and the cloud who were arguing. Thunder crashed, lightning flashed, and everyone was alarmed at the trouble the deafening noise was causing. The school was shut because no one could hear the teacher speak. Man couldn't play. The train stopped because the rails were shaking. The knights and armor kept falling off. Well, Simon knew he had to do something quickly. What's the trouble, Cloud? Well, the Cloud was furious. I should be raining by right, Simon, but the sun won't stop shining. Simon turned to the sun. Why won't you let it rain, sun? The sun frowned. Because I would have to disappear, and the land of chalk drawings would get dark. Then Simon had an idea. Then why don't you rain and shine together? And the sun didn't like this idea, which surprised Simon, because his ideas usually worked. I would get all wet, wouldn't I? Anyway, who ever heard of rain falling and sun shining without a rainbow? The teacher nodded. The sun's right, Simon. You can't have rain and bright sun without a rainbow. Well, this time, Henry had an idea how to shelter the sun and have a rainbow. The chalk drawing people gathered round and listened as Henry explained it. And they all thought it was a good idea. Robber and friends will return after these messages. A trashy schoolyard's got no class. Give a hoot, don't pollute. We'll keep America looking good. Hoo, hoo! Where you going, Mommy? Out shopping for dinner. Oh, good. I want some donuts, ice cream, cookies, soda, cake, and five boxes of coconut blasters. Well, you're not going to get all of them. <laughs> you don't love me anymore. Oh, Brisbane. Just because I won't buy you everything you want doesn't mean I don't love you. It doesn't? Of course not. None of us can have everything we want, and everything we want isn't always good for us. A genie consumer tip from your Better Business Bureau. My victim smiles, but not for long. I pack plaque in every crack so that every tooth will be covered with bacteria. <laughs> Go ahead, plaque demon, because everybody knows how to clean plaque from between his teeth. Lost! I'm lost! Brush and floss every day, if you want to keep smiling. Everybody knows that. Ah! This message has been brought to you in a spirit of friendship by this station and your local dental society. We now return to our and friends. Friends at home, do you remember Doobie's message from Monday? That's right, that's Doobie over there, you're right. Come here, come here though, I want to know whether anyone remembers Doobie's message from Monday. Does anyone remember? What was Doobie?
Doobie's message on Monday. No, Doobie doesn't sting. No, it has something to do with spring and ecology and this. Hey, hey, come on. Please. Please, please, Aaron, don't hurt Doobie, all right? No one knows Doobie's message. Are you listening to me? yoo -hoo. That's it. Earth to Debbie. Earth to Aaron. Are you listening to me? Do you remember Doobie's message? Ah, Doobie, a friend at home said it. Friend at home remembered. Actually, it, it seems that the friends at home were paying attention. Good for you. See, when I bring it up, you remember. Energy. Or did you hear the friends at home? I don't know. To be an energy saver. How can we... Everybody look at me. Listen a second. How... Can we be energy savers? Hmm? Do you know, Jill? How could you be an energy saver in your house? Doobie knows. What's Doobie going to tell us? <gasps> to turn off the lights? To turn off the lights? Turn off the water when the water is running? Good for you, Jill. You can't be an energy saver by pulling on Doobie's tail. Excuse me, friends at home. Will you two stand here, please, and don't tug on Doobie's tail? It's not very nice. It's not very nice. You don't want me to pull on yours, do you? I don't have it. Well, I could pretend. Do me a favor and don't... Oh, two people pull on the ponytail. You don't want to do that. Okay? Don't tug on Doobie's tail. It hurts. Doobie's tail hurts. Now, Jill said to turn off the water faucet, turn off the lights. What else? How else could you be an energy saver? What do you do when you go outside? Good for you, Deb. Close the door. No, Don't no, let the heat out into the street. No, the cold air won't go in. That's right. In the summertime when you have air conditioning, you don't want the cold air to go into the street. And in the wintertime when you have heat, you don't want the heat to go into the street. Right? Very, very good. Can we save energy by dancing? That doesn't save energy, does it? It uses energy. But that's okay. I would like to use a little bit of energy now, wouldn't you? Would you like to use a little energy? Let's see if you can clap your hands. Can you clap your hands and stomp your feet? Listen for the music and see if you can hear the dancing. There it is. Can you clap your hands? Kick your feet? That's it. Spin around. We begin to sway. He's doobie. Dancing. He's strutting and prancing. You know, dancing with Doobie. What do you think of Doobie? Is Doobie a good dancer? Yeah. Yeah, Doobie's a good dancer. Doobie's a good dancer. I've got to, I want to ask you a question, Doobie. Actually, I should ask the friends at home. I want to sing the nonsense song, but I want to play the foot shape game, too. Which one do you think we should do first? Foot shape. Foot shapes. You think we ought to do the foot shape yeah. game first? Yeah. I think that's a great idea. Let me go find the foot shapes. Let me go find the foot shapes. Can you be first? Yeah. Can I be first? Now, wait a minute. There's a word that ought to go along with can that. Aha, uh -huh, please. Can I be first? Deb, you can be first then since Deb uh -huh. said it. Deb asked it first. And then everybody will get a turn, okay? Miss Molly's... Remember that? Well, but we're not holding it today. Tomorrow we're going to hold the flag, and you can hold the flag tomorrow, Aaron, all right? Is that a good deal? I have to go to school. Okay. 
Everybody, can you get in line behind Deb so I can put these down, please? Daddy, go grab. Oh, how can we hop with two together? Thank you, Jarrett. All right, everybody get in line behind Deb. Everybody get in line back this way. Come on, Sabrina. Daddy, go first. Simeon, go over there in front of Doobie, please. Okay, Deb. Can you see if you can hop on those foot shapes and at your house, pretend that you have foot shapes too and see if you can hop on them. Can you hop, Jarrett? He didn't hit any of them. That was neat. You hopped in between them. That was very clever. Next time, try to hop on them. It was very clever to see if you hop on them. These are too far apart for you, aren't they, Jill? There you go. Very good, very good. One foot right after the other. Aaron, get in line or you're going to miss your turn. This time, Jarrett, see if you can hop on the shapes. For something different, try it. That's it. You can hop on both feet if you prefer. If you'd rather do it on both feet, you can. Go ahead, Deb. Do you know who hasn't had a... You do, it looks like Doobie's making you swim. It's like Doobie's making you swim. Do, you know, Doobie, I've discovered something. You're the only one who hasn't had a turn. Would you like a turn? Do you think we should give Doobie a turn? Yeah! What do you think, friends at home? Should we share and give Doobie a turn? Yeah! Sure, why not? Go ahead, Doobie. Let's see how you can do it. That's a very dainty hop, Doobie. Oh, very dainty with your pinkies up, too. Very dainty. Oh, my goodness. You were conserving energy, Doobie. You didn't want to use too much energy? I guess that's it. Doobie was conserving energy. Oh, just like Jay, Jarrett. That's it. Good. Go ahead, Sabrina. Hop, hop, hop. Very, very good. I'm going again. You're going again? Well, wait a minute. You have to wait your turn, Aaron. Please wait your turn so the other friends... Go ahead, Jill. I think it is your turn. Do me a favor. If you cough in romper room, cover your mouth, please. Go ahead, Jill. They look like bowling pins. Well, maybe they do look a little bit like bowling pins, Aaron. That's it. Good. Cover your mouth. You okay? I'm not coughing. You, well, then you don't need to cover your mouth. Uh-oh. Doobie wants you to wait your turn. Doobie wants... Go ahead. I haven't seen you jump in a while, Simeon. That's it. Very good. Very good. One more time, Aaron. Oh, Doobie, is everybody getting in line in front of you? Poor Doobie's not getting another turn. Do you think we ought to give Doobie another turn? Yeah. I think so. Uh-oh, what are you doing, Doobie? Oh, Doobie! No, that's not necessary. It's not necessary to get angry. All you have to do is say, may I please have a turn? Yes, of course you may have a turn, Doobie. Be my guest. Go ahead. That's it. Very good, Doobie. You know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to pick these up. In fact, Jarrett, can you help me? Look at all the Jarretts we have in Romper Room. I thought you were the only Jarrett. Thank you, Jarrett. Thank you, Sabrina. Thank you, Deb. I'm going to put this here. Now, we are all being a little silly this morning in Romper Room, don't you think? Now, there's a time and a place for that. You don't need to be silly all the time, do you? No, but there are certain points in time when you can be silly. Do you know when that time is? Right now. Do you feel like singing the nonsense song with me? Make a funny face at your house. Can you do that? Make a funny face. A little bit of nonsense each and every day. We'll give you the giggles. It'll take your troubles away. Look at a little silly dilly. Makes a big smile. We'll start laughing in a little while. Cuddly cooks and baby snooks. Rattling snakes and ginger cake. Bumbly bees and nubby bees. Give you the giggles in. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pictures of all of us, Doobie. That was silly. That was, well, even in romper, romper room, you can have a little bit of nonsense. That was neat. Well, that warmest Molly out. I need a breath. I need to take a rest. I think we'll do that. We'll take a rest. You take a little rest, but don't go away because when we come back to romper room, we're going to have more fun. We'll return after these messages. Trees are treasures. <whistles> Danny, come see what just landed. It's a squirrel. It's a Spunky Squirrel. Any home in America can have healthy trees when you follow Spunky's five-point checklist. Trees are treasures. People who care, care for them. To keep your trees a valuable part of your property, write for a free brochure today. I'm hungry. Can you fix some snacks? Better yet, I'll show you how. Cheese is great in many shapes. Try some fruit, a bunch of grapes. Soda pop can take a pass. <laughs> Pour some milk into that glass. Healthy snacks should be your goal. Keep them handy in a bowl. Presented by your local dairy council. Do you know what happens when a house catches on fire? It fills with suffocating smoke. But luckily, every room in your house has a crawlway about knee high where the air is good. So by crawling, not running, out of a smoke-filled room, you breathe the good air down here and not the bad smoke up there. So remember, if there's a fire, use that crawlway. It's the best way out of a hot situation. We now return to our room friends. Friends at home, are you good at guessing games? Yeah. Sure. All my visitors here I think they're very good at guessing games, too. You think so? Yeah. Yes? Well, let's try it. We're going to play an animal guessing game, but all of these animals are kind of the same kind. They're all called mammals. Do you know what a mammal is? We're mammals. Elephants are mammals. Horses are mammals. Whales are mammals. And do you know what it means? It means that their babies are born alive and well. Not like a chicken where the egg is hatched with the chick. <laughs> no, have you, ever seen on have you ever seen on television maybe a baby horse right after it was born? Yeah, no. To me, it's really very pretty. It's very pretty. You did see it in the newspaper once? Well, that is a mammal. Let's see. This kind of animal is also a mammal over the place. Winter, spring, summer, and fall, a hare's hair changes with them off. Rabbits, you're right. Look at all these different rabbits. Rabbit. Another name for it is a hare. A hare. A brown. Let's see if you can guess another one. Sometimes mammals' hair is scant. You know what I mean by scant? Yeah. It means there's not much of it. But what? on this thick skinned animal. It's a great big animal. A very big mammal. Any idea what that might be? A bear. Not a bear. a bear. Bigger than a bear. It's gray. An elephant. An elephant. An elephant. You see? An elephant. A baby elephant. There's a baby elephant and a mama elephant. See? See? Do you know there's one other one that says that Mammals are animals with fur or hair who nurse their young and breathe fresh air. They don't lay eggs except these two. These are the only two who do. Anybody know what two mammals might lay eggs? This is very hard. I bet you don't know. Look, a spiny anteater. Look at that. That's a spiny anteater. Have you ever seen a spiny anteater? I did. You did? Where? No, it's not a porcupine. It's very good. It looks, you're very correct. It looks like a porcupine, but it's not. It's an anteater. Okay. And this is one of my favorite animals to say. This is a neat name on this animal. A duck-billed platypus. Can you say that? Can you say that? Duck-billed platypus. That's a duck-billed platypus. And the duck-billed platypus. And the spiny anteater lay eggs, but none of the other mammals do. Oh, 
here's two mammals that you may have in your house. No, this is a mammal that you might have in your house. And they're fun to play with, and they're cute, and sometimes they go, whoop, whoop. Sure, dogs are mammals, look. See? There's a Pekingese and a Yorkshire Terrier. Oh, that'll be fun. That'll be fun. Here's, well, tell me about your dog later. Let's, I know you told us yesterday, Aaron. I think that's terrific. I think that's wonderful. Sometimes a cat comes here and then it says hello. A cat says hello? That's Granny Cat. That's Granny Cat. Granny Cat is a mammal, too. Would you like to guess? Look, see, here's some cats. He has a cat, and uh, he calls it Meesey. Meesey? That's a nice name for a cat. Meesey's a nice name for a cat. Let's see if we can guess one more. Oh, look at all these different animals. I'll have to show you all of these animals in this nice book someday. Let's see what we can find for one more. Oh, these, these are one, these are mammals that live in the sea. Now, you wouldn't think that there are mammals. No, not a shark. Not a shark, but have you ever gone to SeaWorld sea where you've seen a whale? I know you said a whale. What else? What are these? Not porpoises. Porpoises, sea otters. A manatee, a walrus, a walrus. Have you ever seen a walrus? A walrus is a man. That is a a narwhal. And the one you pointed to is a seal. Is a seal. Now there are lots of different animals. We'll have to use this book again. I read this book to you once last year in Rock Room. This is a very nice book, and we'll get it again another time because I'm going to put this away because I've been sitting here for a uh, very long time. I'd like to stretch. Would you like to stretch? Yeah. Everybody stand up for me. Move back a little bit. Everybody, everybody let Doobie stand up. Wait a minute. Give Doobie room, please. Thank Watch your head. Everybody move back a little bit. Move back just a little bit. Put your hands up and let me hear you sing bend and stretch. You ready? Can I hear you? Listen to the music. There we go. Bend and stretch. Reach for the stars. There goes Jupiter. Here comes Mars. Bend and stretch. Reach for the sky. Stand on tippy toe. Oh, so high. What should we find? How about some rain? Can you reach up and see if you can feel some rain? Rain. Is there any rain? I think it's a much better idea. Let's get the sun. Put it on your feet. Bend and stretch. Reach for the stars. There goes Jupiter. Here comes Mars. Bend and stretch. Reach for the sky. Stand on tippy toe. Oh, so high. When you went over to bend and stretch to the ground, did you see anything down there? Do you remember what my question was to think about yesterday? Now, what did I ask you to think about yesterday? What did I ask? We were sitting on the hill, and I asked you to think about something. Does anybody remember what that was? A horse. Things you see in ground. on the ground. Did you think about that? Hi. Did you think about that? Everybody, move over here a second. Let Doobie play I this game with us. Have you, you could see a snake on the ground. You could, would you touch a snake if you saw it on the ground? No. no. no Everybody, I, do me I a will. favor. Come on, when, move back a little I, bit so that we can talk about this. And my teacher was there. A man had a snake and put it around my teacher's neck. Now, that man probably was a snake handler. That was his own snake, and he knows how to touch the special kinds of snakes. There are men and women who do that, who collect snakes, and they know about snakes. Zookeepers do that. And they can touch snakes. We can't, because you never know what it is. What have you seen on the ground when you look on the ground? What do you I see? Saw, and I saw um, a bird. You and could I see saw, a bird hopping on the ground. What did you see, Jarrett? I saw a, a snake. I saw a I saw Doobie, what do you see on the ground? Your feet. <laughs> That's true. You see a lot of feet on the ground. When you walk around and you look to the ground, you see a lot of feet walking. Yes. 
I see, um, I see my the, um, um, the, 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 you see dragons on the ground? Dinosaurs under the ground. Dinosaurs under the ground. Did you go somewhere where you went underneath the ground and saw bones of dinosaurs? I did. Sure. What about what about if you went walking I through the park? A real what would you see? What would you see growing on the ground? You know what? I saw wheels on the ground. You could see wheels I in the ground? Real dragons that I touched them. You did? Yeah. Well let's go back to what you see on the ground a minute. What can you see growing on the ground? Flowers! Flowers, and yay! Flowers. And grass! And dirt! And dirt! There's lots of things. And In trees. fact, that's right, there are lots and lots of things. In fact, you know I want that? you to look when you go outside to see all the different things. You can see stones, yeah. rocks, you cobblestones, feet, and... Gee, I wonder what you would see on the ground if you went to the zoo. What do you think you'd see on the ground if you went to the zoo? Elephant. Maybe elephant feet. Maybe. Well, our friend oh, Kimball is going to go to the zoo when we come back. So why don't we see what happens with Kimball? Robert and friends will return after these messages. Hoo hoo! Don't throw it around. That's pollution. Hi, I'm Woody Owls. Give a hoot. Don't pollute. <laughs> Once there was an old Spaniard, Don Quixote, who jousted windmills with a giant toothbrush, shouting, Teeth are meant to last a lifetime. Everyone thought he was weird. <laughs> then one day his trusted friend Sancho explained the true meaning of Don Quixote's battles. He wants to show how you can defeat the foes of dental health with good eating habits and brushing and flossing every day. After that, the villagers understood why Don Quixote battled windmills with a toothbrush. But they still thought he was weird. Oh, am I weird? A message from the American Dental Association. Hi, I'm Ricky Schroeder. Safety equipment is important to everyone who plays sports. The right kind of helmets, Pads, guards, and supports can make the difference between having a good time and being put out of action by an injury. So when it comes to safety equipment, choose it and use it. And don't forget, the best equipment you've got is under your helmet. Use your head and be safe. This message is from the Will Rogers Institute, White Plains, New York. We now return to our and friends. Enjoy the zoo, I love it here, and you would too. They treat me nice, they feed me well, take my advice, if you want something to do. Your neighbor might be a hippo, or a rare South American bird. I pop to you to share a friendly word. So come on in, enjoy the zoo. I love it here, and you would too. I love my space, they keep it clean. It's my own place, if you'd like a nice place to enjoy the zoo. Your best friend might be a lion Or a giggling grizzly bear A tall giraffe might start to laugh When he notices you down there So come on in, enjoy the zoo I love it here, and you would too I have a home, a little place where I can roam if you'd like a nice place to enjoy the zoo, come on in, enjoy the zoo, I 
love it here, and you would too. Feed me night, day, feed me well, take my advice, if you want something to do, enjoy the... The zoo. I wonder what Kimball saw on the ground. Lots of different things, I suppose. Do you think Kimball saw any of these at the zoo? No, I don't think Kimball saw any exercise balls at the zoo. Maybe you might have one of these at your house. If you do, get it. If you don't, maybe you could use a balloon. What did you see, Jarrett? I popped my balloon. You have one of these? I popped my balloon. You popped yours? Well, maybe you should get another one. Jarrett, hang on a second while I push this in. So that you don't lose it. Uh-oh. <laughs> What is that on my head? Okay. There you go, Jared. I don't want it to break. What's it doing on my head? You can't punch it when it's on my head. No, oh, no, you can't. No, you have to punch it on the ground. Punch it on the ground. Try that. Kind of like dribbling. No, don't punch me. It hurts. I know they're soft, but it still hurts. It's much nicer to punch the air. You can't hurt the air, so punch the air. You can try using your other hand. Making it windy, you're creating a breeze. Create, you're creating a breeze. You know why? You know why you're doing that? Because the air, just because you don't see it, that doesn't mean that there isn't anything there. There are all kinds of molecules and atoms, and what you do when you move this, you move the air around, and that creates a breeze. Yes, Deb. Well, you put it on your wrist. You could try that. Put it on your wrist. I'm putting it Oh, Sabrina, stay down in the valley for me, please, okay? Thank you. Stay down here. Come on, Aaron. Off the hill. I don't want you to fall, kiddo. Thank you. Try and put it around your hand and pretend that you're dribbling. Can you do that? You're dribbling. You're dribbling it up in the air and down at your knees. Oh, you could spin it. You're doing it with your thumb, Jill. Try that at your house with your thumb. See how fast you can hit it with your thumb. You can hit it in the air with your thumb. Try it with your other hand. Do you want to try it with your other hand? It's a little bit more difficult. It's a little harder with the hand that is not your favorite hand. It's spinning. Try it with your hand that's not your favorite hand. Which hand is your favorite hand, Jill? That's your favorite hand? You use that a lot? Then put it in your other hand. My favorite hand. Then put it in your other hand. Try it in your hand that's not your favorite No, try it in the hand that's not your favorite hand. That's it. You like them both? Well, then just pick one of them at that point. Just pick one of them. Okay. You like them, but which one do you this use more often? Uh, this one. Which one? That's not a hand, that's an ear, silly goose. Silly goose, that's not a hand, that's an ear. That's right, that's your ear. Oh, Doobie will be back in just a minute. In fact, after we finish playing this, Doobie will be back to keep the beat with us. Keep the beat. You know how to keep the beat, don't you? What, Jared? What, Jared? Oh, the numbers. Oh, we're not going to do that today. We're going to keep the beat instead. I goofed in the beginning. Well, then, then we'll have more fun. Be patient. Enjoy what you're doing now. And then we'll worry about what we're doing later, okay? It's a good deal. No, I don't put it on your nose. Try hitting it with both hands. See if you can hit it in the air with both hands. Oh, be careful. Don't snap it. You'll hurt your arm. You don't want that to happen. I'll hit it over your head, Simeon. Oh, I wouldn't hit you. I would not hit you, I promise. I just hit it over your head. And over Aaron's head, and over Sabrina's head, and over Dad's head, over Jill's head, over Jared's head, over my own head. Yes, I did. Yes. Now I did it. No, hope you're hitting me. Ouch! No, I don't want you to hurt me. I know you're not. Thank you. That's very nice of you not to do that. Oh, with your with your arms. With your arms. Do you think that we could maybe march out the door with these? Let's try it. No, nope, you don't pull, you push. Push. There we go. Don't go away, friends. When we come back, we're going to keep the beat. Robbery and friends will return after these messages. 
gorgeous. Charmkin's jewelry case. You've got brown eyed Susan, too. She's pretty. Charmkin's, Charmkin's, they love hanging mm. out. Charmkin's smells so nice. Charmkin's charms, accessories, and jewelry case. Sold separately from Hasbro. Yahoo! Let's slash a lucky and get her lucky charm. Not now, me friends. I need to be alone. I think of a new marshmallow surprise to add to me lucky charms. There's already pink hearts, yellow moons, orange stars, green clovers, and blue diamonds. But what should the new one be? Oh, something's coming to me. What's the new marshmallow surprise? And what does a purple horse have to do with it? You can find out inside boxes of new lucky charms, part of this good nutritious breakfast. I'm Woodsy Owl, with a bird's eye view of America's beautiful schools, playgrounds, and parks. But look what happens when grown-ups and kids don't give a hoot about pollution. But Woodsy, what can we do about litter and vandalism? Just spread the word, give a hoot, don't pollute. And if you see litter, please pick it up. Because if you don't give a hoot, who will? In the city or in the woods, please keep America looking good. Hoot, hoot. We now return to our friends. Can you clap your hands, friends? Can you stop your feet? Can the three of you take one step back? Everybody take a step back because we need room for this because we're going to keep the beat. But what do we have to do? We have to listen to the music when we keep the beat. Clap your hands for me. Stop your feet. What do we say? Just me and my body. You can sing with me if you want. Glad to hear that. You sang very well. Do we wear you out, Simeon? You're tired. Oh, everybody do me a favor and step back a little bit for me. Robin, move over a little bit. Doobie, you got you switch places with me because I'm wondering what's going to happen to Simon and his rainbow, aren't you? What do you think will happen? I don't know. Smile Let's look and, and see. There he is. Simon and Henry walked over to the moon rocket. The chalk drawing people brought lots of cans of paint and put them aboard the rocket. The rocket with its strange cargo took off, and while Simon steered, 
Henry leaned out and with a paintbrush, he painted the first stripe of a rainbow. Simon steered the rocket up over the sun in a huge arc and then back the same way. Backwards and forwards they flew until the rainbow was completed. Now the sun could shine and the cloud could rain at the same time without the sun getting wet. Because the sun could shelter under the most beautiful multicolored rainbow the chalk drawing people had ever seen. The land of chalk drawings became normal again and the rainbow kept everyone dry. The children went back to school. The band played. started again and the knight's armor stayed on Simon headed for home as he reached the park it suddenly came onto rain and Simon got soaked now wasn't that a very odd thing to happen Marshmallows. My new Frankenberry has humongous strawberry flavored marshmallows. A delicious part of this nutritious breakfast. The new monster marshmallows are here. The monster marshmallows are here. They're everywhere. Yeah. Whoa. Presenting Ronald McDonald in Wild About Cheeseburgers. McDonald's cheeseburgers in the great outdoors. Hamburger's gonna try to grab our cheeseburgers by scaring us in a bear suit. The will act scared and pretend he's a real bear. Here he comes. Oh, a wild bear. Don't eat us, Mr. Bear. We've got some nice, tasty McDonald's cheeseburgers. And crispy golden french fries, you know. Cool chocolate shake. On second thought, we shouldn't feed the bear. <laughs> nice try, hamburger. Come on out and have a McDonald's cheeseburger. We know you're in there. Rubble. Hi, hamburger. <laughs> Hi, hamburger. <laughs> McDonald's cheeseburgers at McDonald's. I'd say we barely made it back. We now return to our and friends. Friends at home, do you know how to play the do you see game? Yeah. Sure you do. I'm going to ask you, do you see something? And you can tell me whether you see it or not. Does anyone see an apple anywhere in Romper Room? You're hungry? Well, you only have to wait a little bit longer and then you can get something to eat. An apple? Where? Where did... No, I'm not an apple, Jarrett. Lauren, do you see an apple anywhere? You don't? Come here, look. What? What is that? What is this? An apple. An apple. There's an apple. Does anyone see a cherry? Does anyone see a cherry? Jill, do you see any cherries anywhere? Aha! Uh -huh. On your collar. Look, everybody. There's two cherries on Jill's collar. Does anyone see a yellow rose? Anyone see a yellow rose anywhere? Look at them. What's that? That's a yellow rose, see? I have a high a yellow rose, down. like the yellow rose of Texas. Purple. purple hearts. Anybody see any purple hearts? I'm here. Where? Turn around for me. Look at all those purple hearts. Purple hearts. Now, wait a minute. Do you see? Ah, oh, what did we see up here? Logan's right. Purple on the rainbow. Is there any? Is there any? Else? How about? How about? How about blue? 
Does anyone see a blue sweater with a blue cotton blouse underneath it? Do you see anything blue? On your sweater, that's it, that's blue. Sure is. And you have blue on your sweater, that's right. Lauren has, and Logan, you're right. Blue stripes. Do you see anything blue at your house? What, Garrett? Oh, a purple shirt, I missed. You have blue, Lauren, you do. You have blue on your dress. Do you see blue anywhere else in romper room? You see, there's blue there in romper room. It's a blue. What's blue? Where? Oh, the U is blue. The W is blue. Does anybody see a purple turtleneck? Aaron. Aaron has a purple turtleneck. There you go, Aaron. The K is blue. And Granny's blue. No, they're not purple. They're kind of a... Well, it's kind of a blue. It's kind of a blue-green. Aquamarine. Aquamarine, perhaps. Aquamarine. What about green? Does anybody see any green? Does anybody see any green anywhere? I don't see any green at all. Do you see any green? Point to the green on your television set at your house. Any green? No, there's no green. I got your right, Lauren, a green in the rainbow. Do you see any green at your house? The X, the F, the L, the P, the V, the 4. All righty. That's right. We found enough green. How about, how about playing a little follow the leader with me? Would you like that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. What an excited crowd. Would you like to play follow the leader with me at your house? Can I be the leader first, Jarrett? Well, you can be it next. Yes. Let me do it first, and then you all can take turns, okay? See if you can follow me. You ready? See if you can skip. Can you skip with me? Can you lift your foot up? That's it, Simeon. How about spin around? Can you move your arm? Hop on one foot. There's Doobie right there. There's Doobie. You want to play follow the leader with us, Doobie? All right. Doobie, would you like to be the leader? No. I want to be the leader. 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 Wait, 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 wait. Hold it. Hold it. No, wait, 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 wait. Wait, hold it. Well, you can't. I, see, the thing is, there's so many of you, you can't all be leaders. If you wait, be quiet. Be quiet for a minute so I can explain, okay? Now listen, there's so many of you that everybody can't be leaders, okay? Since I'm the grown-up and I'm Miss Molly, I'm going to be the leader so you can all follow. And that way, no one, not one person gets a turn, another person doesn't, okay? Did you? Maybe, maybe when you go home, you can be the leader when you play romper room at play romper room at home, okay? Oh, who's pushing me? You want me to hurry up and go? All right. See if you can hop on both feet. Pick up your knees and march. Shake your head. And your shoulders. Oh, and your hips. And your knees. And bend over and touch your toes. Reach up, bend over and touch your toes. Shake your arms out to the side. We could be airplanes. Can you be an airplane? How about a helicopter? Can you be a helicopter? We'll be a helicopter. Oh, Logan, I hope you didn't crash. Be a helicopter. Put your arms in the air. You crash? Oh, no. I hope you get up. Well, I guess that we better stop all of these airplanes. And you know what will happen when we come back to Romper Room? I'm going to see you in my magic mirror. What about Wiggle? Romper Room friends will return after these messages. Hey, you there. How would you like a raise in your allowance? Well, Cheerios is going to give 50 kids $10 a week for a whole year. Instant winner cards and specially marked boxes or 
Write Box 5901, Wyoming, Minnesota, 55092 for a free card. Chances of winning, one in 360,000. Ten dollars a week free from Cheerios in one check for five hundred and twenty dollars. That's hard cash. Charmkins, Charmkins, they love hanging around. The nicest thing about Charmkins is their jewelry. Little mom and school mornings, take them with you around town. Now you can take them with you in the Charmkins jewelry case. You've got brown eyed Susan too. She's pretty. Charmkins, Charmkins, they. So nice. Charmkins Charms Accessories and Jewelry Case. Sold separately from Hasbro. I brought along some of my friends to tell you something important. Immunization! That's the message. It's important. Immunization against diseases that you can't cure, but you can prevent diseases like... Measles. Yes. Diphtheria. Rebound. Yes, indeed. Mom. Polio. That's what immunization is all about. Yeah. It prevents diseases. Yeah. And it's easy. And it's free. All it takes is one phone call. So call the Red Cross today. We now return to our blue friends. Did you have a good day today, friends? Yeah. I did. I what? Had, I had a Superman day. You had a Superman day? Well, I'm glad yeah, to hear that. I had a Spider-Man day. day. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Well, you know what? Wait. You know what time it is? It's time for me to see the friends at home in the magic mirror. Romper bomper, stomper boo, tell me, tell me, tell me do. Magic mirror, tell me today, did all my friends have fun at play? All my friends had fun today. I see David's having a special day today, and Olivia Joy had a special day on Sunday. I see Robin had a special day yesterday, and Dane is having a special day today. And so is Reginald and Edward John and Margaret, and I see I see Justin and Megan and Courtney and Brick and Mark and Rachel and Sheila and Caroline are all having special days and Cicely and Ashley and Matthew and Jose and I see Bonnie and Anthony and Joe had special days yesterday and so did Tammy and Brandon and Gregory and of course friends you know I see you and I'll see you again bye bye friends Love for Room and Friends featuring Molly McCluskey is directed by John Wolfe the preceding program was pre-recorded. Miss McCloskey's wardrobe provided by Lips by Betsy Gonzalez and exactly Betsy